of sailors' tales to sailors' tunes, storm and adventure, heat and cold, if schooners' islands, and maroons and buccaneers and buried gold, and all the old romance retold exactly in the ancient way, can please as me they pleased of old, the wiser youngsters of today. So be it. Ha ha! And fall off. She's always worse around Christmas. Merry Christmas. What's the matter? We're orphans. Are you? So am I. I don't believe you. Do you live in an orphanage? I live with Miss Purity at the Cask and Anchor. We live at Miss Willoughby's. I've never seen an orphan before that looked like you. I'm Jim Hawkins. What's the meaning of this? I forbid you to talk. How dare you disobey me? It was my fault, ma'am. Into line. March! Goodbye. Goodbye. Merry Christmas, ma'am. To knock the tree down. Open up there. Here, uh, uh, have you uh, a nice star for the top? Aye. Uh. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. Ah, uh, no wonder they say Christmas be for the little children. I'll have Jim climb up and fix that to the top when he gets back from his Christmas shop. Uh, here he be now. <laughs> Squandered your last penny, eh, lad? Is there something wrong, Jim? Tell me, what's wrong, lad? I can't enjoy Christmas. I'm an orphan. Why, you're no orphan. Why, you've more family than most. You got Purity and me and Patch and all them other swabs. And me. I'm very happy. But when I saw those other orphans and the way they were treated by Miss Willoughby. Who be this old bag, Willoughby? The orphan house belongs to Miss Willoughby. It's the only place available. Uh, but she feeds them and... and Close them and sees that they are educated. And she's mean to them. Coldness and lack of love can hurt worse than blows, Miss Purity. They didn't even dare speak to me. They didn't seem to know how to smile. Oh, you don't mean that, lad. The sound of laughter and gaiety seems to drive Miss Willoughby mad. And I suppose that must be why she hates Christmas. Hates Christmas? There's no Christmas at the orphanage. No party? No presents? No Christmas? How can you stand by and allow such things, Reverend? The authorities' hands are tied. She doesn't actually beat them. I should hope not. Isn't there something we could do? They could have all my presents. I don't want them. They could have them. Bless you, Jim. I mean it. Ought to be sure you do, lad. 
<laughs> There'll be no need for that, Jim. You'll have your presents, and so will they. Oh, Long John. No, we'll have to take the will for the deed, Long John. I, I'll have a word with the rest of the crew. Oh, I'm afraid you'll find them all in the same boat. Oh, but never mind, Long John. It was a sweet and proper thought. I'll buy the presents for the children. Uh, and we'll go right this minute and buy them. And wrap them in pretty paper? Aye, and pretty string, too. And when they see the presents tomorrow morning, they won't be able to help smiling. Aye. Hear what be wrong, Reverend? Oh, I very much doubt if Miss Willoughby will let the children accept your gifts. She'd better, or else I'll keel all the old witch. I'll scratch your eyes out. Yeah, but, but in the long run, the children would suffer. On no account dare we anger Miss Willoughby. But there would be no harm in trying to persuade her. Good night, children. Good night, Good night Willoughby. Willoughby. Night time is for sleeping, not for talking. Good night, children. Good, Good night, night, Miss Willoughby. Night time is for sleeping. Not for talking. Purity and the Reverend should be up at the orphanage by now. <laughs> You'll see, lad. Uh, Willoughby won't refuse them pretty presents. <laughs> but if she do, uh, why then our party'll fall flatter than a, a serpent's stomach. The kitchen maids are wondering if to go on preparing for the party, Long John. Of course. keep thinking how different it must be at the orphanage. Look here, look here. You and I and Pat shall go up there. It ain't far. But Reverend Manasta told us not to. Ah, Miss Willoughby will never see us. We'll uh, just keep our eyes peeled. You have a plan. Ah, a good captain never makes a plan until he's spied out the lay of the land. <laughs> ah. But... What could be the harm of letting the children have the presents? Yeah, it won't cost you a penny, seeing they're already wrapped and everything. That is hardly the point, Miss uh, Pinker. Then what is the point? Children should not expect things for nothing, especially orphans. I'll allow no interference in my running of this institution, least of all from a tavern keeper. If I considered it proper to use Christmas as an excuse for pagan revelry, I shall do so, without your assistance. All yours, Reverend Manesta. Why, you... Please, Miss Pure. Oh, the gaff, Reverend. I were willing to bite back me rage when I thought there was a chance to do something for these children, but there's not a chance, so it's speak or bust. Oh, Why, you, you're as much that. out of place among children as you are snuggling up to a man. Get this person out of my house. That will be a pleasure.
in those letters for hours. The boys sleep up there. Now, you go on up there and invite them all to our party. But they wouldn't dare. Afterwards, we'll put them back through the window without the old witch knowing a thing about it. <laughs> Perhaps lend you my hand. I'll keep an eye on Willoughby. Of course there's a Father Christmas. What kind of talk is this? Then why doesn't he do something when we all wished so hard? Well, cause these rules are for children. We're orphans. That ain't true. We're children too. Shh. It can't be. Father Christmas comes by the chimney. It's me, Jim Hawkins. We thought you were Father Christmas. Come here. Listen. I'll stand below and help him down. And then take him straight to the cask and anchor. What about you? I I'll stand guard over the old Willoughby till you're safely there. Well, you won't miss the party. No, not if I can help it. <laughs> but if I has to, you'll see that them young'uns have a Christmas party they'll remember as long as they live. <laughs> we like when we get to the tavern. Quiet now. We've got to pass close by our window. You asleep, children? Gentlemen wouldn't draw a pistol on a lady. <laughs> but by your actions, you be no lady. According to purity, you treat them kids a real mean. So, you're from that tavern woman, that common... <laughs> now, mind your tongue. Yes. You're probably capable of any atrocity. <laughs> Whatever that may mean, I, I probably am. <laughs> Uh, now, sit ye down and make yourself at home. <laughs> uh, you and me be in for a long wait. I want you... <laughs> uh, your present uh, for Christmas be gold and silence. <laughs>
You shouldn't have let Jim go out this time of night. Yes, but Miss Purity, Long John and Patch was with him. I am afraid they have gone to Miss Willoughby. Miss Purity! To you and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Don't you ever persuade the old. I, I mean, Miss Willoughby. Well, uh, we'll explain that later. Oh, never mind. You're all here. You're all here, and that's all that matters. Now, Jim, you take over, huh? Merry Christmas. Hey, and Merry Christmas to you, little lamb. Hurry and get dressed up. Get a move on, Reverend. And how do you like the look of things? It's like fairyland. Oh, it's like fairyland. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> These be our guest boys. Let them feel at home. You'll find your place at the end of a rope terrifying me and kidnapping the children. Well, answer me. Dare you treat me as though I'm beneath your contempt, a villain, a ruffian like you? The children are as happy as I was when I was a child. My father was harsher with me than I am with them. Why should they be happy? I never was. Miss Willoughby. Well, go ahead and shoot. I don't care. Shoot a lady. I'm not a lady. Said so yourself. Uh, but there was a gentleman once who thought you was a lady. Richard were his name, weren't it? Uh, was this your young man? He jilted me. Oh, the villain. Well, why don't you laugh? Now, what kind of a scurvy dog do you take me for? Others have laughed. My father laughed till the day he died. Well, he was a real villain. <laughs> said, only an ugly old fool like myself could believe a word a sailor told me. Oh, so Richard were a sailor. Yes. I was 20. Very plain. Richard told me he loved me. We used to meet secretly. He wanted to marry me. I was happy. For the first time in my life, I... I told him father would cut me off completely if we married without his consent. So Richard sailed away. I make see. his fortune. I see. But why do you wait Christmas so? Because he promised to come for me at Christmas. Christmas bells were to have been our wedding bells. But he never came. And I've had to live on year after year. Christmas after Christmas. Listening to those hateful Christmas <laughs> And this be his picture. I kept it like a foolish old maid. Ah. Why, what's the matter? Do you know him? Be your given name, Honoria. Yes. Richard Carstairs. At last, I found her. Richard Carstairs? Well, that be his name, ain't it? Yes, yes, but how... Ah, you say he jilted you. Why, woman, he, he loved you with passion to the end. End? Ah, he died with your name on his lips. Richard died? Ah, an hero's death. He and I were shipmates. He was sailing home to you when our ship were boarded by pirates and Richard was slain. Oh. Ah, but just as his eyes were closing, he says to me, Honoria, Honoria, he says, and his head fell back on my shoulders dead. Harry, it must have been close to Christmas, uh, nigh on 20 years ago. But, but why didn't you come and tell me? Uh, oh, well, now, uh, as to that, uh, you see, I stayed aboard too long, uh, all on account of your Richard. Uh, I gave him a, a sailor's burial, uh, and then I were taken by them pirates. 
Oh, it ain't for many a long day afore I escaped, and uh, when I did, well, all I knew of you was the name uh, Honor here. Uh, he did love me. Oh, he loved you to the end. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Father Christmas with toys for all. Father Christmas, did you hear? Did you hear what I wished, even if I am an orphan? Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, uh, now... You remember? I wished that Miss Willoughby would be kind to us. And so she will be from now on. Forgive me. Please. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And now for the presents. For Miss Willow. Ja, Adolf. I never heard anything so romantic. How rich a dime in your arms. <laughs> but uh, he ain't her Richard. You mean you never knew him? I knowed him, but he ain't her Richard. And he ain't dead, neither. Long John. Uh, uh, now, now uh, it'll be all right so long as Miss Willoughby stays away from Bonaventura. He be living there with his wife and 11 children.
If sailor's tales to sailor's tunes, storm and adventure, heat and cold, if schooner's islands, and maroons and buccaneers and buried gold, and all the old romance retold exactly in the ancient way, can please as me they pleased of old, the wiser youngsters of today, so be it. Ha-ha! And fall off. be no talking. Yes, Miss Willoughby. Hey, be careful. She's probably watching from inside the bakers to see if she can see us. She's always worse around Christmas. Merry Christmas. What's the matter? We're orphans. Are you? So am I. I don't know. <laughs> You'll see, lad. Uh, Willoughby won't refuse them pretty presents. <laughs> but if she do, <laughs> why then our party'll fall flatter than a, a serpent's stomach. The kitchen maids are wondering if to go on preparing for the party, Long John. Of course. I keep thinking how different it must be at the orphanage. Look here, look here. You and I and Patch will go up there. It ain't far. But Reverend Manasta told us not to. Ah, Miss Willoughby will never see us. We'll uh, just keep our eyes peeled. You have a plan. Uh, a good captain never makes a plan until he's spied out the lay of the land. <laughs> uh. But what could be the harm of letting the children have the presents? Yeah, it won't cost you a penny, seeing they're already wrapped and everything. That is hardly the point, Miss uh, Pinker. Then what is the point? Children should not expect things for nothing especially orphans. I'll allow no interference in my running of this institution, least of all from a tavern keeper. If I considered it proper to use Christmas as an excuse for pagan revelry, I shall do so, without your assistance. Or yours, Reverend Manesta. Why, you... Please, Miss Pugh. Show the gaff, Reverend. I were willing to bite back me rage when I thought there was a chance to do something for these children, but there's not a chance, so it's speak or bust. Oh, Why, you, you're as much that. out of place among children as you are snuggling up to a man. Get this person out of my house. That will be... Children would suffer. On no account dare we anger Miss Willoughby. But there would be no harm in trying to persuade her. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Good night Willoughby. Willoughby. Night time is for sleeping. Not for talking. Good night, children. Good, Good night, night, Miss Willoughby. Night time is for sleeping, not for talking.
Charity and the Reverend should be up at the orphanage, by Willoughby. The orphan house belongs to Miss Willoughby. It's the only place available. Uh. She feeds them and, and clothes them and sees that they are educated. And she's mean to them. Coldness and lack of love can hurt worse than blows, Miss Purity. They didn't even dare speak to me. They didn't seem to know how to smile. Oh, you don't mean that, lad. The sound of laughter and gaiety seems to drive Miss Willoughby mad. And I suppose that must be why she hates Christmas. Hates Christmas? There's no Christmas at the orphanage. No party? No presents? No Christmas. How can you stand by and allow such things, Reverend? The authorities' hands are tied. She doesn't actually beat them. I should hope not. Isn't there something we could do? They could have all my presents. I don't want them. They could have them. Bless you, Jim. I mean it. Ought to be sure you do, lad. <laughs> There'll be no need for that, Jim. You'll have your presents, and so will they. Oh, Long John. No, we'll have to take the will for the deed, Long John. I'll have a word with the rest of the crew. Oh, I'm afraid you'll find them all in the same boat. Oh, but never mind, Long John. It was a sweet and proper thought. I'll buy the presents for the children. Uh, and we'll go right this minute and buy them. And wrap them in pretty paper? Aye, and pretty string, too. And when they see the presents tomorrow morning, they won't be able to help smiling. Aye. Here, what be wrong, Reverend? Oh, I very much doubt if Miss Willoughby will let the children accept your gifts. She'd better, or else I'll keel all the old witch. I'll scratch her eyes out. Yeah, but, but in the long run, the... Don't believe you. Do you live in an orphanage? I live with Miss Purity at the Cask and Anchor. We live at Miss Willoughby's. I've never seen an orphan before that looked like you. I'm Jim Hawkins. What's the meaning of this? I forbid you to talk. How dare you disobey me? It was my fault, ma'am. Into line. March! Goodbye. Goodbye. Merry Christmas, ma'am. To knock oh. the tree down. Yeah. Oh, up there. Here, uh, uh, have, you, have you a nice star for the top? Aye. Yeah. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. Ah, uh, no wonder they say Christmas be for the little children. I'll have Jim climb up and fix that to the top when he gets back from his Christmas shop. Uh, here he be now. <laughs> Squandered your last penny, eh, lad? Is there something wrong, Jim? I can't enjoy Christmas. I'm an orphan. Why, you're no orphan. Why, you've more family than most. You got Purity and me and Patch and all them other swabs. And me. I'm very happy. But when I saw those other orphans and the way they were treated by Miss Willoughby. Who be this old bag?